there, I'm Kendall McGuire, professional singer, and today I'm going to be speaking to you about one of my favorite topics, characteristics of opera and oratorio. Opera is dramatic, it's full of theatrical flair, okay? So characteristics of opera, opera tells a story. It is a drama. It is a drama all done with singing, with the voice, okay? So you're going to have a a complete story. Um, some examples of opera are The Marriage of Figaro. Uh, Carmen is another famous opera. Opera is uh, all done, all, like I said, all done in singing, very theatrical. You're going to have great, grandiose sets. You're going to have beautiful, usually historical or period costumes. And usually you'll have a female lead, and this would be your coloratura, a characteristic uh, soprano. And then oftentimes you'll have a tenor, and then another characteristic would be um, having a baritone. And of course the baritone is uh, usually a, a larger male singer with a deep, low, he would be the bass voice if you're looking at choral singing like a choir. And the tenor is going to have a little bit higher voice, and he is sort of, I guess, the diva of male singers, okay? The tenor is up in that higher range. And then you'll have your mezzo-soprano, and that's similar to the alto singer. So all of these characters come into play within an opera. Oratorio is very similar. Um, you'll often see it in sacred music or church choral settings, and sometimes in an oratorio they'll actually have like a black notebook which will have their music literature that they'll read out of. Those are some characteristics of opera and oratorio. I'm Kendall McGuire. Thank you.